Okay, Nick Dutch here yet again, uh, another video talking about the, um, I suppose, the how-to aspect of doing a tower reading at this period in history. There's lots more people who are interested in doing tarot as a job, which is something that, typically speaking, I would like to dissuade you from doing. You do end up hearing some of the most tragic and terrifying stories of your entire life. Uh, and you end up being the uh, the confidant to people who are going through some very difficult, very trying problems in their lives. But I shouldn't be here to dissuade you, and I'm just going to talk a bit about doing tarot and what it means to actually do this, you know, as a job. The first thing that you have to bear in mind is that yes, it is a paying service. As far as the ethics are concerned about should one charge for a tarot reading, well, let me put it to you like this. If there was a guy who really, really enjoyed working at the petrol station and just pumping gas or filling up the HGVs with, uh, you know, with diesel, and let's say the boss thinks, hey, that guy enjoys his job, he can do it for the pleasure, I'm not going to pay him any money. Do you think that guy is going to carry on pumping gas? No. We all need to survive. I survive on very, very, very cheap food. I do not spend all my time in nightclubs. I do not have an extravagant lifestyle. The money I earn from tarot keeps me alive. All right? It's not the biggest earner in the whole wide world. You've got to bear in mind that some people are just money orientated. If you are a customer of tarot readers and you think your tarot reader is just trying to get you to carry on calling back, trying to carry on trying to get you to call back, do not call that tarot reader again. This is an entertainment service. As such, you need to have some performance art skills. If you do not have these skills, then do not do tarot for a living. You have to have a lot of empathy. Namely, you've got to give a shit for people who are suffering. Not everyone has that. And some people are just thinking, how much money am I earning? Yes, I have to think about how much money I'm earning. Because I've got bills to cover. All right? But I'm not thinking about buying a yacht. I'm thinking about surviving and trying to do so in a way which is ethical and pleasurable for the clients. Also, there's the issue of trying to design your own body of knowledge that you have up here in your brain to suit the requirements for being a tarot reader. That does not just mean reading books about tarot. That does not mean learning tons and tons of tarot spreads. What that means is knowing about people. If you don't know enough about life yet, then go and do a course in counseling so that you can actually be there and know how to be there for the clients. You will also need to know about things such as addiction, recovery, divorce, um, domestic violence, and in some cases, how to deal with people who are suffering from grief, and also how to deal with victims of, at times, organized crime. Some of this will come with practice, but not all of it you've got to be a certain type of person to be able to go through this and to be able to you know keep yourself sane because you're gonna hear scary stories you really are and it's going to be difficult for you you need to have a certain level of humility because although the tarot reader is high because the tarot reader has some kind of arcane knowledge or it is assumed that the tarot reader has some kind of arcane knowledge 
we have to be sensitive to the needs of the client. And this requires a real humility. If you've got a big ego and you're very proud of yourself as an individual, do not be a tarot reader. You've got to see the person you're talking to, whether it's over the internet or over the telephone or face-to-face, -face, as being the most important person in the world, and their needs come first, not yours. It can be emotionally draining. Make sure you've got a routine of life in which you've got some time for yourself so you can make sure you're nourished psychologically, emotionally, and spiritually, okay? And look after yourself. It's a hard job. Good fortune, God and or goddess and or none of the above. Bless. Have a great motherfucking day. Bye for now.